So I'm opening up another uh, eBay lot. I don't know what it is. What if it's not a box of Conspiracy 2? I keep thinking it's a box of Conspiracy 2, but I don't know if I want... I should probably keep up with this, but... I don't know, I'm bad with it. This might be a... Did I bid on some fat packs? I don't know. I think it's a fat pack. It doesn't feel like a box. So, uh, in the last few days, or maybe the last day, or maybe a few weeks ago, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at, uh, Opal on, uh, consistency. Uh, did an M12 box and a, uh... Watch my dinky. Not an M12. Uh, yeah, M12, five packs, and then I did 12 packs of Oath. And looks like today we're doing an Ether Revolt uh, fat pack. How much did I pay for this garbage? 19.55. So I paid 19.55 for it with seven dollars shipping and handling. Let me see. Eight dollars. So 27.55 for a fat pack. I guess that's not bad. That's like two dollars and seventy-five cents a pack. Which is cheaper than if you paid 3 for 10. Uh, if you bought a box, you know what, I don't know. I, I don't want to get into it. Uh, it's a pretty good deal for the price, and you get something that you can put your cards in, and that's cool. And you get a spin down, which I have too many of. Alright. $27 fat pack. Damn shipping. Jesus Christ. Okay. So what do I hope to get out of this? I don't know. I'm really, uh, I love standard. It's one of my favorite formats, but God, the current meta is ass. There's no, no diversity whatsoever. And, um, oh well. Can't be helped sometimes. And, uh, banning everything ain't gonna fix it. So, so I've been doing F&M lately. Not like I could anyways, because... I've been driving and stuff for uh, UPS, so there's no time for it. And, uh, yes. Trying to remember uh, what I want to get out of this set. Uh, Chalice of the Void, please. Onto our uncommons. Uh, Fatal Pushes, yeah. That's that's a good one. And we start off with the Peace Walker Colossus. And my dog's playing with the kitten. I guess you can call it that. Poor kitten. I don't even think these common. I don't think there's any good commons to look for right now. And we got a midnight entourage. Jeez, why did I bid on this? I think it was because it was so cheap. I mean, $27 fat pack all day. All day. Damn. I was hoping this was the conspiracy box. And our rare. Quicksmith Spy. Ooh, oh, dude, no way. A foil heart of Kieran. Well, I'm pretty sure that gets me there. That's awesome. I was not expecting that at all. Holy crap. Okay, well, sorry I talked so much shit about you, Aether Revolt. Everything else is a plus right now. Wow, that makes me happy. You go on Frieza's tail. Well, what could be better than that? Maybe a full, uh... Fail push? That'd be that'd be pretty dope. And we got eight from the cow. So these rares have all been pretty bad. Jeez, and the person that shipped this paid uh four extra dollars in shipping and then I uh paid so Jeez, I don't know how they made any money on this, if they did. I guess the only way you made money on this uh, bundle, selling it online, even after... Fee God, dude, there's no way they made... They lost money. Unless they unless you stole this, which I ain't saying anyone stole, so... But that's the only way I see anyone making money. 
Release the Gremlins. That's a good sideboard card. God, this set's so trash. I was pretty pumped about it because I did real good at the pre-release. I uh, didn't lose a round at all, and that was nice. But, I don't know. Oh, Winding Constrictor. I don't even... Is that deck still... I don't know. I haven't been to FNM in a while, so I don't know what's in the meta other than Mardu Vehicles. Lightning Runner. So that's our second method. I don't know, man. I feel like uh, Wizards needs to, uh, I don't know, do something with Standard, fix it. And it's only going to get worse because Oath and Zendikar aren't supposed to stay in when Almond Cat come, but they are. So that's probably going to... They did any quality, quality checking or testing or any of that stuff. It's uh, This is a really good card, undervalued. Um, then, uh, I don't know. It's, we'll find out. Maybe we'll get a super diverse meta. But Martyr right now is really dope, so if uh, no one's playing it, you should. I think we have a full in this pack because it's it feels, I don't know, maybe it feels a little heavier. Maybe I'm just tripping and there's no full. But yeah, Martyr's going great. I'm building uh, Legacy Elves. Uh, guys, Cradles come last. And our rare, oh, Mythic. So that's our third Mythic. And is that, yeah, Watchful Automaton. So there was a full. I'll keep it. Two packs left. I feel like we've got a lot of fulls, or maybe it's just I'm thinking about it too much. Zero Fatal Pushes, though, so that's that's good. Didn't want any of those. But I got a full heart of Karen, so I can't be uh, too jaded. And our... Jeez, our rare. Oh, wait, I am keeping on commons. Jeez. Rough Tethered Emblem. And for my last pack... Let's see what we get. Maybe a Fatal Push and a regular uh, Heart of Kieran would be a great capping point of it. But that's asking uh, way too much. And Merchant's Dockhand is our final rare. So that uh, bundle was, uh, it was, it was K. Uh, I can't complain. And, uh, I don't know, I think I'm just really exhausted from work, so... But yeah, full hearted Karen. That is... That's where it's at. Alright, well, I'll uh, see y'all next time.